Good afternoon. My name is Veronica Bjorkman, and I'm the Assistant Dean of Students here at Jacksonville State University. Thank you so much for joining us for our SGA Executive Officers Candidate Debate and Speeches. I'm going to turn it over today to President Ulysses Herrera and SGA Rain Taylor for our candidates. Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started with our speeches first. So the first candidate for VPOA is Mr. Gabriel. Will, we, will you please go ahead and give us your speech? Of course. Uh, my name is Gabriel Alvarez. I am a business marketing student here in Jacksonville State. I have been working in member or member services at the Rec Center, and that has helped me a lot with working with people and solving problems that have to help the organization that I work with as well as the people who I'm trying to service through the rec center. I've also worked in the medical field where I've had to deal with high stress situations and situations where there's really no winner and had to make decisions on that level that are beneficial to as many people as they can be beneficial to. And my sort of goals as VPOA are to expand new organizations and grow existing great organizations that are already with us on campus. And the way I, I wanna do this is, first off, I wanna start with like, with new organizations are formed, I want them to have a meeting with um, heads of old organizations that have really grown. For instance, I know Ultimate Frisbee has one of the greatest recruiting systems on campus. I was, um, I was really involved with that um, this last semester. And then we also have, groups that are really good at fundraising. Um, I know that the fishing team are incredible fundraisers. And so what I wanna do is when a new organization starts, I know that there's a really like a, a struggle to, to get, the, get it going, especially when you have really low numbers and you don't wanna spend a lot of money because you don't know what's gonna happen in the end. So what I would like is those old members who know what they're doing to talk to these new groups and just give them advice on how to do these things that are really detrimental to a group when, when they're starting out. And another thing I'd like to do is I'd like to start sort of a startup program for new organizations. So a lot of organizations, like I said, they don't have like funds to do new things. And so what I want is maybe speak with the university about getting a startup fund for new organizations and maybe the people who are paying for that just to be reimbursed. And hopefully I'd like for them to be promoted on new social media or um, promote their new clubs to be promoted on social media. I would like to help them print out flyers and that way they can get their organization started up with their, on a really strong foot. And um, the next thing I would like to do is when you're starting up a new organization, this is something that I learned when I was starting a soccer club. A lot of, you don't really know what you're doing or at least we didn't. And so what I wanna do is make that information more available. And I've already spoken with the upcoming uh, VPPR about helping us out with that. And so I think she'd be a really good asset because I mean, that's her specialty is public relations more than anything. So I would like her to help us, you know, promote how, like promote that we actually do want new organizations to start and show them, um, show them the, the steps that need to be taken to do it. And also show the things that the university already does that is really good for new organizations. Like um, the reimbursement policy that they have really helped uh, a Frisbee and soccer. And I'm sure it's helped countless other clubs. So I hope that we can make that information more available because I don't think a lot of people know the assets the university already gives us. And I want them to know all of them and as well as that more. So yeah, um, that's all I really need to say. And uh, I hope you guys consider me on April 14th, and have a good break. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on, we will now have Garrett give us his speech, please. Well, I think you might want to tilt your your uh, video up just a little bit. Just a little? Okay. You guys can still hear me, right? Oh, uh, Ulysses. Oh, I'll go back down then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. We're ready for you. Good. Now. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Garrett Harrelson. I'm a senior in our political science program, and I'm also making preparations to pursue my Master of Public Administration degree here at JSU. I decided to run for this position because after spending two years working with many great student organizations, I want to share my experience and the tools I've developed with the rest of our campus. Since the beginning, I've based my campaign on three words, collaboration, vigor, and simplicity. 
These ideas have driven me in my own endeavors and have brought successes in my own experiences. By pursuing these ideas, my goal as VPOA is to always make sure our organizations have what they need because they breathe so much life and vibrance to our campus life. I think we can all imagine how boring a university experience would be without anything to do outside of class. So that's why my goal is to do as much as I can to further our student groups. My first and most important tool for our success is communication. Communication is a vital aspect for any type of success as it keeps everyone informed on the same page. When we're not on the same page, we cannot accomplish our goals in the magnitude we desire. I face this problem in my own organization, and by working together, we remedied the issue and rebounded much stronger. As your VPOA, I will establish and maintain an open door policy because organizations must have that line of communication always open between them and the university in order to be truly successful. I'll be committed to holding that channel open and always funneling information that my office receives to its appropriate destination. I want to propose also a possible solution to get new and existing organizations the tools they need to get the word about their organizations out. By showcasing three different, well, let me rephrase that. I want to work alongside our VPPR and university publications to spread the word about our organizations. By showcasing three different organizations each week, I hope to show our students what all JSU has to offer for them. Examples of this publication could be, we could show off one special interest organization, one academic and one Greek-like organization each week to show off to our students, hey, this is what we bring to the table. And we can also focus on our smaller organizations this way. Another way I want to work towards making way for um, upcoming organizations to get what they need is to get better access to print publications such as flyers and leaflets. This way, our organizations can get the support they need to communicate their message out to the campus. And it also sends a very important message. The VPOA is there for our organizations first and foremost. My second tool, and it's a close second in priority, is information. Information is a make or break for just about everything, and without it, our plans and goals would collapse. I have a personal experience with this issue, and in addition, a way to remedy it as well. When I first came to JSU as a freshman, I spent nearly the entire year just simply going to school and then going back home every day. It was quite a lonely experience as most of my friends were no longer with me day to day. At that point in time, the university never really offered any information regarding our organizations here on campus, other than Greek Life or SGA sponsored events. Sure, I saw the flyers in the halls, but there was never really that outreach from the university itself to get involved. It was only when a few of my friends reached out for me to come to Level Up that I first started getting involved. And from there, I found a community that gives me a sense of accomplishment. As VPOA, I don't want that year of isolation to occur for any of our students, be them incoming freshmen or returning students. One solution I want to propose to fix this is a total revamp of our organizational page on JSU's website. As it stands right now, the site's pretty bare bones, showing only the organization's name, some contact info, and a short summary and several of the sections are outdated. This tidbit of information is nice, yes, but there's so much more we can do to showcase the many great groups that dot our campus. Why not have a page for each active organization? Here they can share photos, showcase members, and have a university-backed outlet to share what they bring to our campus life. Yes, we have outlets like Facebook, Instagram, and Presence, but what happens when those who have the helm of social media inevitably leave? That's where the trouble arises, in my opinion. By having a means of continual sharing of information, our organizations can extend their outreach. Furthermore, this also encourages our fellow students to get involved and find a place where they can grow and succeed. As your VPOA, I will commit myself to the transparency of information and ensuring that information not only reaches the university, but also to our organizations in a timely manner as well. My third tool I'm bringing to the table is Vigor. As a university, we are graced with so many great student organizations that encompass many different interests. In order to best serve those who bring so much life to our campus, I will act as VPOA on a proactive stance rather than a reactive one. Not only do we need a VPOA who will act in a proactive stance, but our students deserve one who will. Acting in a reactive method will only hamper our organization's efforts, as reactive positions only exist to solve an existing problem at hand. By working from a proactive perspective, I aim to work hand in hand with both our organizations and the university itself in order to facilitate our organization's needs and goals alike. For as well as our campus has treated me, this is the least I can do in return. Lastly, another important tool I have to bring to the table is the tool of simplicity. In my tenure at both Level Up and Pi Sigma Alpha, I've dealt with an array of organizational issues, both within these organizations themselves and also in our dealings with administrative affairs. My experience puts me in a position where I'm willing and capable of walking and guiding others through the many twists and turns that lie within organizational affairs and also making the experience simple and easy to understand. For example, the allocations process is a notoriously intimidating process Garrett. that many organizations face. Hmm? Garrett, you are at five minutes, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm at my last, I'm not my, my last section. Go ahead. Okay. The paperwork involved in the policy from the code of laws make it so, and many organizations, in fact, need that allocation to succeed and thrive. 
As part of my open door policy, I will not hesitate to guide these organizations through the process of the administrative needs that they may encounter, as well as offer my advice so long as it is welcome. In addition, I'm also familiar with the process of registering new organizations, and I wish to encourage anyone who sees a need to create one consult my office. It would be my pleasure in helping establishment. My goal as our VPOA is to make dealings with the university as simple and understandable as possible and work to dispel the intimidating notions that come with the administrative process. If these are goals that you would like to see in the VPOA office, I strongly suggest you to consider me on the 14th election. My goal is to work with our students and organizations in order to make our campus the friendliest campus in the South. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now have Ms. Auburn give us her speech, please. Hey, Kim Paul. My name is Auburn McKee, and I am from Birmingham, Alabama. I am majoring in business management, and the platform I'm running on is suicide prevention. Suicide prevention hits home for me because I lost a dear friend to suicide, and I'm doing suicide prevention in honor of the SMILE organization. With that being said, I would like to dig into my motives and goals if elected as the next VPOA. To begin, I am extremely passionate about making sure everyone finds a place where they feel like they belong. I believe no student or anyone should feel like they are alone, and I know that JSU has an organization for everyone, and I am passionate about making sure our organizations are publicized, whereas all students can find lifelong, dependable friends during their time at JSU. My three goals at JSU include recognizing and honoring every single organization at JSU for the hard work that they perform. My second goal is to create an organizational spotlight, whereas we will showcase all of the organizations through email newsletter, um, more information on presence, and also hanging around flyers like we do now, but getting it to where it is direct directed towards specific organizations um, and what they do so that we can familiarize our students with how great and all of the organizations that they are and how many we offer. Um, and my last goal is to provide resources for all the organizations when um, planning events on campus. Um, I think it's very important for um, the VPOA to throw, out, to throw out new ideas on, you know, what they throw and, you know, different things, different ideas for organizations so that they can open the eyes of new freshmen and can get new members and make things more exciting. I think that that's really important because we have freshmen that are nervous and scared to come to JSU and if they know that there's a place that interests them and they're doing fun things and they're doing things that they look forward to, they're going to want to join. And I think that's very, very important for our VPOA to make sure that they get that information out, encourage these students and say, hey, look, this is great, guys. Let's join. Let's make friends and let's make your um, experience at JSU the best it can be. It is crucial that every single organization gets the same exact recognition and fame that all the other organizations do. I feel like as a student, I noticed that some organizations get more publicity than other organizations. And I think it's only fair that every organization be, um, like I said, honored and to where they can, sorry, where they, where they are publicized because like I said everybody does great work at JSU and we all make a difference at JSU. My campus involvement in JSU has most definitely prepared me and encouraged me to be the best leader that I can be. My campus involvement includes Zeta Tau Alpha SGA Student Senator, JSU Football Recruitment Team, National Society of Leadership and Success, and 2020, uh, 2020 Road Gamma. And I was also a part of Freshman Forum. Forgot to mention that at the beginning. But um, so yeah, um, I just think that all these organizations that I've been a part of have, um, like I said, prepared me because the organizations that I'm in are so diverse. They're not the same of one. They're all different. So I feel like that is 
um, prepared me to look at things in a diverse standpoint to where we can get every student into our organizations because that's the most important thing to me is that we have all students feel welcome in all of the organizations. Um, and I would like to say that all of my goals are in hopes of making more students join our organizations and like I said before, expanding diversity. So with that, I would like to close and say thank you so much for all the organizations that we have on campus. You guys and our faculty are the reason why that we are the friendliest ca campus in the South. So with that being said, keep me in mind on April 14th and vote Auburn for VPOA. Stay cocky. <laughs> thank you so much, Auburn. Thank you. Veronica, can you still see me? I am uh, you're I can only see half of your face. Do I need to go up or down? You need to go, your face needs to go up. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, next we'll be hearing from Miss Katie Wolf. Oh, I went back down again. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, involved with running this year's SGA election. Under incredibly trying circumstances, they found a way for us all to still reach out to the student body and host an election completely online. So I want to say thank you for that because I know that coordinating all this could not have been very easy. Um, in my time here at JSU, I have never been happier than when I was involved with JSU History Club. I started attending meetings when I was a sophomore and it completely changed my experience as a student. My junior year, I became the president of History Club and I know that without the opportunity to lead, I would not be speaking to you today. As the president, I got to experience firsthand what it was like to run an organization and develop into a better leader. I experienced all the struggles of organizing events, planning meetings, and trying to run fundraisers. I quickly learned what it takes to make an organization succeed, and over the last two years, I have worked very hard to expand History Club's membership and reach out to the larger JSU community. Throughout the first year leading History Club, I interacted more and more with the SGA, the Dean of Students Office, and the Vice President of Organizational Affairs. I began to understand everything that the office could help me with in making my club thrive. At the end of my junior year, I applied to join Student Senate because I wanted to take that opportunity to understand the SGA better, as well as advocate for smaller academic and special interest clubs. Throughout my senior year, being on Student Senate allowed me to work closely with those in the Dean of Students Office and I developed strong professional relationships with many of them. I was also able to work with the current BPOA to better develop an understanding of his day-to-day -day role, as well as help him plan this year's cockies, an award show honoring many of the organizations on campus. I want to be your VPOA because of how passionate I am about helping organizations of all types expand. Whether they are a part of Greek life, a special interest group, or an academic club, they all deserve to experience success. As VPOA, I will work as an advocate for all JSU student organizations. If I am elected, I will work to ensure that organizational concerns are brought to the proper channels so that we can work together on building solutions. With me as VPOA, the open door policy started by those in the office before me will continue and I will highly encourage organizational leaders to reach out to me. Organizations will know that I am always available to them and they have someone to work with to help them achieve their goals. Additionally, one of my top priorities, if elected, would be to bring transparency to the Dean of Students Office in all the ways they can help organizations on their journey. I know from experience how confusing it can be trying to get a new club started or to navigate the allocations process or to promote an organization. As VPOA, I plan to make these things clear. For new organizations on campus, I plan to develop monthly individual meetings with these presidents to check in with them and see how we can be of better service to them. I also plan to create a checklist for these organizations that they can reference so that they know all they need to be doing to grow their organizations. Regarding allocations, I plan to work with the administration on ways that we can give organizations more involvement in this process. I want to make sure that organizations are constantly being updated with what step of the process their allocation is in, beginning with them turning in the request paperwork and ending with us handing them the check. Something else that is often tricky with the allocation process is the necessity for the organization to run a fundraiser. Many fundraisers, many organizations get hung up trying to find a fundraiser they can do that will not break the bank. As VPOA, I plan to work directly with the Dean of Students Office to generate a list of pre-approved fundraisers at, that will be inexpensive upfront. For organizations that need 
help with promoting themselves, I plan to create an organizational newsletter that will go out each week. This newsletter, newsletter will serve specifically as a way to highlight organizations. Organizations would be able to reach a larger student audience and they could utilize this to advertise their organization's meeting times and any events they have coming up on campus. Any organization wishing to be included would simply need to contact me and submit their information. Overall, I hope to combine the experience I have gained running an organization with the experience I gained being involved with Student Senate to be an advocate for all of JSU's amazing organizations. I believe that the professional relationships I have developed with those already at work in the office will allow me to begin working quickly and effectively to assist you and your organizations on my first day in office. I hope that you will help me that you will keep me in mind when you vote for VPOA so that we have a chance to work together on some of the goals I mentioned here today and some others that I have in mind. Thank you. All right, and thank you guys. Um, you all did really well. So for the next part of this call, we're going to be doing the debate portion. So what's going to happen is I have three questions and each one of you will have two minutes to respond to the question. Um, so it's kind of difficult to explain since there's four of you. So for the first round, we're going to start with Gabriel and go in ABC order. But then like the order is going to change. And so it'll be easier for me just to tell you as you go who's next up for the question. So just kind of listen to that way, you know, when you're going to go. If you need the question repeated, please tell me. I do not mind repeating it at all. Just let me know when it's your turn. Um, Ulysses will signal when there's 30 seconds left of your two minutes um, in the response to your question. He is going to hold up the red thing, right? Ulysses? Yeah, he's going to hold that up when you have 30 seconds left. Um, so Gabriel, we're going to start with you for the first question. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So for the first question for everyone, it'll be, how do you plan on using your connections while in office? And we're starting with you, Gabriel. All right. Well, the connections are obviously the most important thing because they're what help you actually get things done. So what you want to, what I want to be able to do is, Having those new connections that I'll be able to have through the VPOA position, I want to help these small organizations that usually aren't really paid attention to in the larger scope of the university. Because people, the people who are actually running the university, I mean, they only have a limited amount of time and resources to actually deal with things that are going on on campus. So once I have that connection with them, I'll be able to get the information from small organizations and larger organizations, of course, to those people so they actually have an eye on what's going on there. And then if they have an eye on it, they'll at least have the option and say, like, am I going to be able to help this? Is it? And I want to make it propose to them that it is worth their time because those new organizations starting is what's important to us because you have to start somewhere to become a large organization. And the, all the organizations make JSU great. And people, when they come to a university, they want to see what they can get involved in. And the more organizations that start up, the more interest people are going to be able to find and the more things are going to be able to attract them to the university. Okay. Thank, that, you. Thank you so much. Uh, Garrett, you're next. Do you need the question repeated? Please. Okay. So the question is, how do you plan on using your connections while in office? Okay. Um, start off, I've been a leader of an organization for two years now. In that time, I've met many great people, both in faculty and fellow students who, I mean, as well as their connections, I have access to them as well. And we've also worked together a lot in the past. Uh, an example, uh, Level Up and Tabletop work with the library a lot to do Gaming Day, which is a, every semester we get together during finals week, and for me, we do a day-long retreat from finals. I think, you know, reaching out, and as well as the new cabinet that the VPOA is going to have, Having those connections and being able to branch off through those connections to your cabinet is going to help us bring in more organization leaders and potential organization leaders to the table. And I think from there we can communicate with them and figure out, you know, what do we need to do for our organizations and how do we need to go along doing it? That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> Sorry, did you call I'm me? I'm so sorry, I'm muted it. on accident. <laughs> but Auburn, you're next. I'm so sorry, I muted it. <laughs> Can you repeat the question for me too, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, how do you plan on using your connections while in office? Okay, um, so one thing that I would think 
that I could use my connections was because I was a part of different diverse organizations. Um, I've been in touch with a lot of different kinds of people. And so I think in that way that I can um, encourage people to join different organizations, um, et cetera. And along with that, when I was in Zeta, I was the um, service chairman. And so I've got to communicate with everybody around Jacksonville, whether it be Legacy Village, you know, um, the elementary schools around here, the um, animal shelters, all those um, people that are that do with service. I think that my connections with them would be beneficial for organizations because I could give them ideas on how to serve our community that's not just at Jacksonville and how to get their um, name out because a lot of our students are from the area and they went to Jacksonville High School or they went to Asheville or Piedmont. And so I think that if our community sees these organizations out and doing things and it's publicized, that they're more likely to want to join these organizations. Thank you so much. Uh, Katie, uh, it's your turn. Do you need it repeated? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> How do you plan on using your connections while in office? Well, I think for me, I would best be able to use my connections to kind of hit the ground running and get organizations a lot of the resources that they need very quickly. As I mentioned, I work closely with the Dean of Students Office. I know a lot of them in there. I know who to talk to in regards to certain issues regarding uh, starting a new club, where to turn in allocation paperwork, those sorts of things. But I also know a lot of people on uh, different departments around campus from my time as a student here. And for my time as an organizational leader, I've developed great ties with the library. So I could definitely help organizations find places to host their meetings, get them to the proper people to talk to, uh, to get resources for them, and as well just provide support for them very quickly. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so for the next round, Katie, we're gonna start with you this time and kind of work backwards for this round. So the, first, the second question is, what would you bring to the role of VPOA? I think to, uh, for me, it would be experience. I've done a lot of work with lots of organizations on campus. I've interacted with a wide variety of clubs on campus, such as Tabletop, Level Up, um, oh, the, um, Geography Club, History Club, we've all worked together in the past to create things and come together and support each other. Um, so I think experience would definitely help with that. And I would know how to guide new organization leaders to get their club off the ground. Because when I took over History Club, there was just three members. And when I ended my term last year, we had upwards of 20. So I definitely can help people in growing their club and knowing how to do it. Okay, thank you so much. Auburn, the question is, what could you bring to the role of VPOA? To the role of VPOA, I could bring um, determination, passion, and just the drive to do it and to make things right um, in VPOA. I, like I said before, I'm very passionate about suicide prevention. And so my main goal really truly is to make everybody feel like they have a home. Um, so I would do everything in my power to um, rise these organizations, like, you know, Kate said, bring them from the down up. That would, that is really what, you know, helps out these organizations. Um, and just, you know, just being there, giving it my all and uh, talking to my peers about what they want to see in VPOA. I think that's the most important thing also is that students, I want to be here for you. JSU, I want to do this for you. If you have an organization that you want to start up and that you think like, hey, why don't we have this? I want you to be able to come to me and say, hey, let's start this up, let's do this. And so I feel like because of my determination and passion that I would be able to get things going, help them out and send more organizations on the table that JSU can offer. So that's it for me. All right, thank you so much. Garrett, it's your turn. And the question is, what could you bring to the role of VPOA? As I mentioned in my opening speech, uh, vigor is a big thing in my, I guess, agenda as VPOA. I want to make sure as soon as the first or even before the first day of the semester starts, we've already turned the dial to the right and we're running 90 to nothing for our organizations. Um, that includes, you know, reaching out to everybody. Again, I have plenty of connections in my time working in Level Up and Pi Sigma Alpha. I know Katie and mine's organizations have worked together in the past. 
Uh, actually, we've we're, we're a lot of similar organizations. And so those connections are there to you know find out what exactly do we need to do on the administrative level for our organizations. Another thing is I again I want to make things as simple as possible for any you know be them you know current organization leaders potential leaders I want to make sure they've got what they need and they can understand it easily because from experience I know the paperwork side of things can be a bit intimidating and confusing at times so I want to work together with them to make sure hey this is something we can understand and walk through together. Another big part of that is I want to make sure, you know, we have the outlets we have. We, you know, we have the outlets for our organizations that they need in order to have the tools of success they need as well. So things like getting them, you know, up and around on social media, uh, have their publications out on flyers around campus, things like that. You know, make sure they get the word out to see, you know, hey, we're doing this for our organizations because this is our job. I mean, this is what makes our campus what it is. Thank you so much. All right, Gabriel, it is your turn. And the question is, what do you bring to the role or what can you bring to the role of EPOA? For me, I think what I really bring to the role is communication. Uh, ever since I was young, I've been working with all different kinds of people. I worked in the healthcare industry. I worked in the, um, the rec center and then I led the soccer club and I've pl been playing like soccer. So I've been working with people from all kinds of different backgrounds and different like people have different goals in life and different abilities and things like that. And I've always tried to bring them together under a common goal. And I think that I can do help people do that in the position of EPOA because by bringing these organizations together, you make all of them stronger. And I think that the communication is also vital in speaking with people who are a higher rank than I am because they're, they have a lot of power to make change. And I think if I'm able to communicate with them efficiently, then I can help all the organizations on campus through funding and all kinds of other resources. So um, yeah, communication is what I'd say that is what I bring to the position. So that's all I've got. Thank you guys so much. That was really good. And so we're on the last round of questions. So you can take a breath. Um, <laughs> this time we're going to start with Miss Auburn. And the last question is, what do you pan, oh, sorry, this was not written right. <laughs> what do you plan to do to help organizations of any size? Um, I plan to do the organization spotlight. I think that would be very important because we can, like I said, get more new members. And I think that's the main goal of every organization. Every organization want new members. They want diversity in their organization. Um, so I think that, you know, that will be important and kind of forgot the question. Can you repeat the question so I can go back through? So sorry. No, you're fine. What do you plan to do to help organizations of any size? Okay. I'm on track now. Um, I plan to, like I said, do do the organization spotlight, and I also plan to have resources for them, be being able to give them information when it comes to fundraisers, when it comes to activities, when it comes to gaining new members, when it comes to um, everything in between of just making these organizations known and making them be the best that they can be. Um, I think that with all the organizations and with a great VPOA, this can happen and we can make the you know SGA and organizations better than it's ever been before um, with all the hard work of everybody working it together. So that's just, that's it for me. Okay, thank you so much. And now we're gonna, now it'll be Katie's turn. Okay. So, so the question, do you need the question again? Yes, please. Okay. What do you plan to do to help organizations of any size? So organizations, depending on what type they are, need a lot of different things. Like a Greek life organization is not going to need the same thing as a small special interest club. But what all organizations need are publicity and a way to grow their membership. So primarily, I would focus on the organizational newsletter that I'm planning to send out weekly. And I would really push for organizations that were struggling to gain members to advertise themselves in there. And then also organizations struggle with fundraising. So the list of pre-approved fundraisers that I'm going to generate with the Dean of Students office, I would push that out to all organizations because just because you're a big club with money doesn't mean you want to use all of your money to run a fundraiser. So that, that would be beneficial to everybody. So I think making sure that clubs are 
All of them are publicized well through social media, the organizational newsletter, making sure that smaller organizations know to reach out and where, who to talk to to get these things done. Um, I think that would be beneficial to everyone. Thank you so much. And now, Gabriel, we're going to go to you. The question is, what do you plan to do to help organizations of any size? I think a lot of what you need to do to help like small organizations is teach them the ropes of, you know, how do we grow this organization? How do we raise funds? And like I mentioned earlier, letting them speak with members of large organizations. And I'm not going to like, obviously, uh, you need to, you know, kind of make it specific to a similar interest. Like, let's say there's a, a large history club. You want to have talk to people who maybe are in an English club because they have a more similar kind of crowd they're reaching rather than having them speak with the head of a fraternity or a sports club. So that mixing, I think, is really important. And then to, for me, like communication is so important. So if I'm doing that, if I am trying to help every organization, I want to go and speak to every organization and find out what exactly do you need? Because if I, like uh, Katie said, different organizations need different things. And so if you are catering to what each organization needs, then you're helping them more specifically. And I think that's really important because I think that there are so many different interests around JSU that I, I want people to find something that they really enjoy. So, um, yeah. A lot of it comes down to mixing and, you know, really getting in on the ground floor and helping new organizations, helping large organizations, and not just helping every organization that you can. So, yeah, that's all I've got. All right. Thank you. And, Garrett, you were the last one. The question is, what do you plan to do to help organizations of any size? I think the first necessary step to that is holding, again, an open door policy to make sure, hey, you know, organizations are welcome to the office for whatever they may need, be it publicity, fundraising, membership growth, you know, whatever the need may be. And like Katie and Gabriel both said, it's very much a case by case basis. Uh, I can tell you Level Up's not gonna have the same uh, needs as a fraternity. they are two different organizations, they have two different scopes. So, I mean, of course, there's gonna be case by case basis of what they actually need. However, I think having, you know, experience in the office as far as running an organization also helps because We've been through these struggles ourselves, so we can, you know, kind of lend a guiding hand and advice where it's needed. I think as well, um, as far as getting publicity, I agree with Katie, publicity is a big thing. I think one thing we should do is update our organization's page on JSU's website. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's very bare bones. There's a lot of outdated information and there's a lot, there's a lot more that could be done with it. And I think as far as getting that on the website, as well as working with our publications here at the university, like the Chanticleer, the Red and White, the VPPR, you know, showcasing, hey, we have these organizations here at JSU, and this is what they do. This may be something that interests our students, but they may not know about it because they have never heard or seen anything about it. So, you know, getting the word out for everybody is, is just as important as, you know, bringing things to the table as far as membership or fundraising. Because if you can't get the word out, then nobody's going to know what all we have here. For example, we had an esports club uh, about two years ago, and the word never really got out about them, and they just kind of withered away. And it, I was sad I to see what happened to them. I don't know if you can see them. Ulysses, but you have 30 seconds left. Okay. I'm I can't see him, but I am finishing up. Okay. Um, so I think, you know, having that open door policy to make sure, hey, our organizations are always welcome to discuss whatever they may need in the office, and even outside of the office is always more than welcome. And it'll be my pleasure as VPOA to help you with those needs. Okay, guys, you did awesome. Um, so, you know, congratulations to all of you for making it here. Um, also, I just want to remind everyone, April 14th, 12.01 a.m. to 4 p.m., polls will be open, go vote. Um, we have awesome candidates, obviously. So thank you all for being here. Um, I know it's kind of hard and we've had some technical is issues in the beginning, but thank you so much. Thank you. Bye guys.